Hey, we're back here with Vandals head coach Don Verlin. We take a look at one player who has worked on his game a lot to become a leader at Idaho and help the Vandals become a contender in the Big Sky Conference. Here's a look at Vandals guard Mike Scott. I actually played a lot of sports growing up, but basketball was the only one I stuck to. Uh, I played, my first sport was actually soccer. I played soccer, football, baseball, basketball, and basketball was the only one that, you know, I really liked, loved actually. Consistency, keep working. Uh, I have a lot of friends at home, you know, not trying to put them out there, but you know, they didn't, they didn't stick with it, stick with the plan, you know. And I just felt like I had to, I had to, it was, I had no other choice but to keep playing basketball. It was the only thing that kept me sane, the only thing that kept me out of trouble. You know, I come from a very dangerous part of Los Angeles, so to stay out of trouble, I had to stay in the gym. To stay out of the streets, I had to stay in the gym. And putting in all that time. I mean, it's not, it's, nothing's going to happen but a good outcome, you know? So just working the consistency got me here. Coming from junior college, they recruited me pretty hard. And um, I could say a lot of uh, universities, you know, they recruited me, then they stopped, and then they came back. But through this whole process, you know, you have always stayed loyal through the whole recruiting process. So that showed a lot of character. I've enjoyed it a lot. I mean, coming from Los Angeles, you know, a big transition. I probably don't even belong in a big city. I find myself pretty boring. I just like to go to school and stay in the gym. So U of I is perfect for that. It's a big change, because like I said, you know, my mom has a lot of weight on her shoulders. Now, I feel like I'm the one that has a lot of weight. You know, I'm, you know, and I had a, the, a meeting with Coach Brennan, and he told me to keep, keep, keep getting with the teammates and, you know, keep, trying to, you know, encourage everybody because, you know, it's my job. It's my job to do that. I was picked by everybody. I think every single last person chose me. Like, it wasn't another person on that, that list that was voted. I think it was Mike's all the way down the paper. So that means I'm, you know, pretty much, I'm in everybody, I'm in everybody's hands. Coach, nice piece there on Mike Scott. What do you like about Mike? Well, a number of things I liked about Mike, but probably uh, the thing that jumps off the stat page is his assist to turnovers. Uh, you know, going into the Eastern game, 70 assists, 13 turnovers. Um, you know, it goes five and four that game, so 75 assists, 17 turnovers on the year. That's tops in the country, and, and Mike's played very well this year. He, he's came in uh, in great physical condition, and he's really, really worked hard to lead our basketball team. And he's also shot the ball well, made some big shots for us. So he's played like a senior supposed to play, and I'm very happy for the way Mike Scott has played for not only for himself, but especially for the Vandals. To get in the good physical condition, what did he do in the off season? He worked really hard in the weight room. Uh, you know, he got his got himself in good physical condition as far as strength. Uh, that was a huge key for Mike. And then he kept himself in really good cardiovascular shape throughout the summer. And so when he came into what we call camp, you know, our, our first number of weeks of, uh, of training, he wasn't in, in awful shape where his body just didn't scream at him and tell him, you know, no more, no more. He was able to get through camp a lot better. And, and, and I think that's really helped him as he's moved along this season. You mentioned also the assist to turnover ratio. He seems so composed out there. Obviously, part of that is hard work, but to, to a certain degree, are you born with that? Yeah, you are. It's it's feel, uh, no question about it. Mike's got a great feel on how to how to play the position. Uh, you know, he, he he doesn't do anything he can't do. He never gets himself, uh, you know, in a bad position. He he doesn't leave his feet to make a pass, or he doesn't try to do something he can't do. He's got a very good sense of what he can and can't do, and that helps him, uh, you know, play the position as well as he does. Looking at the big sky, you guys are two and one heading on the road. How big will these games be? They're huge uh, because it looks like the big sky conference is, 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 is really close. There's a lot of parity from, from one to 12. Uh, you know, anybody can beat anybody and, and you gotta go out on the road and you gotta find a way to scratch out a couple road wins and where they're gonna come, I don't know. But you only have so many opportunities and, and, and this is a great opportunity at Sac State and at Portland State this weekend. Two good teams, uh, you know, Sac State's three and one. Uh, Portland State's I believe is two and two. And so both of those teams are good teams, but they're both very good at home. They both have taken care of their home court throughout most of the year. Um, Portland got upset by uh, NAU at home, but both of them good teams, both of them in small gyms, both of them in good atmospheres. So it should be a lot of fun. 
as much as you know, what do these two teams bring to the table? Well, I know a lot about both these teams. You know, Sac State's very tough, uh, very physical. Uh, Brian Katz, known him for a long time. I grew up with Coach Katz. We, we grew up in the same area, and so I've known Brian a long time, and, and I know they're going to play good, hard, man-to-man -man defense. They're going to throw some zone in there, but they're going to be physically tough. They're not going to beat themselves. Portland State, on the other hand, is probably – uh, from from one to ten, the most talented team in our league with their guard play. Uh, now they play a little looser. They play a little faster. They're a lot more wide open, similar to an Eastern Washington. So it's two different styles of play, but both of them we got to adjust to, and we got to find a way to go out on the road and just fight every single possession and see what we can get done. You guys obviously have a very good team, but even for good teams, winning on the road isn't easy. What does this team need to do to get wins on the road? We got to defend better. Uh, you know, your defense has to travel. And, and we, we've got to be able to go out on the road and lock someone down. Uh, you know, take them out of the rhythm, take them out of the routine, make them shoot the shots that they don't want to shoot, and obviously rebound the ball. Uh, you know, offensively, we've been playing pretty well all year long, but where our weakness is, is defensively, and we, we've really got to take onus on that. We've got, we got to decide that this is what we want to do. If you want to win a Big Sky Conference championship, you got to do it away from this building. Certainly. Now, final question, Coach, in the Big Sky, you've already beaten the preseason favorite once. You're 2 and one do you feel good right now or do you feel like kind of like any team could rise up at any time? Basically what I'm asking, what's the feel of the big sky right now three games in? Well, you know, you never want to let a home game get away. And so that one stung. Uh, it sting, stings for the players. It stings for the coaches. You know, what I've challenged our guys is, is you can't do anything about that now. Uh, what, 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 what we got to focus in on what's next, and that's Sacramento State. Uh, you know, the feel of the Big Sky Conference is, is, is that we know it's going to be a good conference. We, we, we feel like we can compete right at the top of the conference. What we got to do is we got to get it done. Uh, that, that's the bottom line is, is, you know, you can talk about all those things, but it all comes down to when you throw it up in between these. Uh, these lines and 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 let's let's see what we can get done uh, we've had a great week of practice we're starting to get better that sounds kind of weird but the last week of practice last two weeks of practice we've actually really started to improve and that's what I like to see and that's what my teams have done through it throughout my time here at Idaho they've gotten better as the years the year has gone on and this team seems to be making that progress obviously last year you guys peaked that WAC, uh, WAC title or WAC conference uh, tournament there. He's head coach Don Verlin. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you. We're going to take a break, but up next we talk with women's basketball as they suffered a heartbreaker at Eastern Washington. Stick with us here on Inside the Vandals. Yeah.